Hi there. Welcome to Sunnyside Journals. I have a little book haul today. Actually, you know what? It's sort of a little thrift haul, but there wasn't a whole lot that I thrifted. Hubby and I went away with our friends, Wendy and Mike, uh, last this past week. We went to um, Niagara on the Lake, um, and we also, you know, some little towns and that around. We were in Virgil. Um, I did some, I, I was in a little antique shop in Virgil and, and I hit a thrift store in St. Catharines and, uh, and then of course yesterday, Saturday, I went to my Kirby Church book sale. They had their hard covers on two for a dollar. So, uh, some of these, most of the books I got at the Kirby Church sale, but, um, Anyhow, let's get into it. This is actually the first thing. It's um, it's a table runner, um, but I actually want to use it. I want to make, uh, oh, isn't that pretty? Oh, maybe I'll just leave that there for now. Oh, it looks like I gotta wash it. Okay, I'll wash it first. Uh, I like to use tea cozy <laughs> on my teapots. When I make tea, I cover it up, cover up the teapot and put a cozy over it and I thought I want a Christmas cozy so uh, I had been keeping my eye out for you know I just wanted a little bit of quilted fabric and here we go found it uh, for a good price so uh, this will be perfect to make a quick little tea cozy out of and it'll look uh, it'll look cheerful up on my kitchen counter while our tea brews so yay um so let's see at the little antique store i got some interesting things uh, i got some metal things for the covers of books yeah maybe i will move this maybe i will move this so i found some metal things to uh to put on the covers of books so i think they were like kitchen cabinet poles um i'm way up high because i've been working on mrs cratchit's book so my camera is way up high so i'll be lifting these up so i wanted this this actually might be going on mrs cratchit i'm not sure because i also got this one and i'm torn which one at first i thought i was going to use this really grand one on Mrs. Cratchit. It's just, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I thought I was going to put that on Mrs. Cratchit. I think it's a little too grand. But this is just, this one's just a little step down. It's still the sweet um, similarity of the key in the lock. And I think that one could handle being on the cover of Mrs. Cratchit's book. And I actually got quite a few of them. Look at all these. One, two, I think I got, I think I found seven. So I'm thrilled. There's gonna be lots of journals with uh, key and lock on them. One, two, three, let's see here. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. I thought I had seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. Okay, well, I thought I had seven. Six is fine. I can't be greedy, right? Um, hold on. Let's move these out of the way. So for, um, for the little book sale, the first one I found is this. You know what? I'm going to, I'm going to pause and see if I can lower my camera. Hold on. There we go. That's a little better. Sorry if you're rocking. Um, it's just one of those little books. I call them Hallmark books, even though it's not always Hallmark who makes them. They're just little books that you can find in card stores to give us a little extra gift. Say you're going to buy someone a card and uh, you can just give them a little, a little book to say I love you and thinking of you. But these ones are fantastic because they have all the little, the little Victorian illustrations that you can fussy cut and use in your junk journals so do you see what i mean just lovely make some make some faux postcards out of these be very nice i like these end papers with the tartan they're very pretty 
Um, so yeah, 50 cents for that. I'm happy with that. Um, found this book, Pex Bad Boy and His Pa. And there's two of them going down the hill. <laughs> tumbling down a snowy hill on a toboggan looks like paws falling off i like that it's red and green so that kind of makes me think that maybe next year maybe next year this could get used i don't know if there's a year in this i'll have to i'll have to look online and see if i can find a year for this book i i'm thinking the early 1900s mid to early but it's cute. There's no salutation in it. Sometimes there's even a salutation dedication in there that will give you a little hint. But it's nice size. Happy with that. Uh, the wonderful people at the uh, Kirby Church book sale put aside books for me that they think I might be interested in. And uh, boy, they were, they were right with this one. I'm very thrilled with this one. It's an old Watkins cookbook. Um... They were going to throw it out, and those books, they just let me have them for free. And there's just some cool old recipes. i got to show you the cookie page, because it's wonderful. And there's some nice illustrations in it. Look at where the cakes and cookies. Isn't that magnificent? All the spilled vanilla and probably cookie dough. Where's the cookie page? Because it was really, really good. Look at all this. Isn't it great? Just makes me happy. That's certainly there. That one's my favorite. Like that's just spectacular. I love it. That will get used somewhere. It's just so wonderful. You can't replicate that. <laughs> that's just too divine. <laughs> I'm sure they could do scientific tests on that and tell us what's what. <gasps> Anyhow, there's some really cute. Um, illustrations in the back can't find a year for this Watkins one again I'll look online it's probably somewhere online um, what it what year it was so I was happy for that I, I'm always thrilled when they put aside books for me um, I found these two Raggedy Ann and Andy books um, they're not that old actually I think one's 1940s and one's 1960s. Yeah, this is 1942 for uh, the nice fat policeman. And then the camel with the wrinkled knees is a little bit later, 1960. But uh, very pretty little illustrations. Of course, it's a reprint from like 1924. So the illustrations are just charming. It smells really good. This is, this is the book smell. Oh, that I love. So I am not sure whether I will use these Raggedy Ann and Andy's or whether I will put them in my Etsy shop. I don't normally list books in my Etsy shop because the shipping is just ridiculous and it's not a savings for the purchaser or for me. Um, but these would ship quite inexpensively and they would make adorable junk journals. So I may, I may put them in my Etsy shop. I may give, give them away in the spring as a, uh, you know, raffle them off. Maybe I'll hit a milestone in subscribers and, and we could raffle off Raggedy Ann and Andy. We'll see. Um, this, this book I got at the thrift store, not at the Kirby Church book sale, but I liked it. Common service book with hymnal. And you know me, I love a good religious book. Um, 1955, I believe. Well, certainly the salutation in it, dedication for Peter Moore from Mother and Dad. And it's just got some really good, it's got music, it's got some nice font in it. And I forget what year it actually is. It says 1918 there, but it's in awfully nice condition. I doubt it, especially because the dedication is 1955. But it's right there, copyright 1917, and then it, the copyright was renewed in 1918, and then there's nothing after that. So, your guess is as good as mine. Maybe uh, maybe their beloved son never went back to church. <laughs> 
maybe Peter <laughs> didn't go back and didn't use his book. <laughs> I don't know, but I like the size of it. And uh, I think this is very pretty and lends itself to maybe putting a book plate there. You know what I mean? And then I think I found the perfect book for my next black and white journal. It's a really cool one. I got this one at the Kirby Church book sale. It's big. It's big and fat. It's not necessarily big dimension wise, but it's big that way. It's so big. It's got two bookmarks in there. What's inside there? There's something tucked inside. <gasps> Let's hope it's $2,000. $2,000. Let's just, let's guess, shall we? Oh, anyhow, it's a German Bible. And it's got all that beautiful font in it. Isn't that cool? It's just lovely. 1946. Yeah, let's see this. Oh, maybe it's just the, I got all excited. Maybe it's just the, uh, how they... Maybe it's just how they did the binding. Rats, I got all excited. I thought maybe it was somebody had put stuffed their life savings inside their Bible, you know? <laughs> oh, you know what? I've got to turn my TV off. Let me turn the volume off. Um... There we go. <laughs> if you were hearing that bang, bang, bang. I love, um, in the wintertime, I follow a live bird feeder from up on the north shore of Thunder Bay. Uh, I just love watching the birds at the feeder. Cardinals and, no, that's definitely, that's glued in. That is uh, part of the binding. I, hopefully you can see what I'm what it is I'm looking at. It looks like there's papers down in there in the hollow back. Maybe it'll show better if I open it up a bit. I can feel them there. But they're definitely glued in. I think that's just there to keep the curve nice and curvy. Because it's not... It's not budging. There they are. See, Can you see them now? Anyhow, I like listening to a... Yeah, they're not budging. Well, that's very unusual. Though. Yeah, they're just blank. I can see in there. Um, this is cool yeah I, I love just to keep on my TV um, the little birds at the bird feeder oh my goodness they're a lot of fun so this has got some bendies that's okay these papers will simply be used for collaging and backgrounds and that but you can tell it's bible there's some of the names I um you know, Ezekiel, Jeremiah, I, I'm rec Chronicles, Samuel, Joshua. Yep, I can. St. Luke, yep. Matthew. Very nice. Oh, I'm getting it all mucked up. Anyhow, I think this would make a fun um, black and white journal. And. I love doing a nice big fat one. So, so that's it. That's it for my book haul from yesterday. I didn't get a whole lot, but it was still nice to go up and wish the wonderful people that volunteer there and make all those book sales happen. It was nice to just wish them a happy Christmas season and hope that they have a safe and healthy winter. So now I'm going to sign off for now because I do want to um, I do want to do an episode for tomorrow morning for uh, Mrs. Cratchit's holiday household book. So take care. We will talk tomorrow morning, and I will be working on uh, this lady. <laughs> talk soon. Bye.